All right, YouTube, this is your boy, The Virus System, and today we're here to do the Chiri Chiri Chara Chara, and today we'll be learning how to set up Unlimited Edu Firm School College Management System here. And then here I have the whole package of um, Edu School Management System version 2, and we have the database documentation, we have Edu Firm web portal, we have screen shots, and then we have the original application itself which is what unlimited edufem version 2 and other documents that comes with it so i have already extracted it into a folder here called um, edufem i have here and then um, i've already created a database here and then i've already visited what the folder that we have but laravel starts in what our public folder so what we need to do is that we need to hit on our public folder to start loading our application but after still hitting on what the public folder we still have to what type the installed um um redirected to the install folder for us to start doing what our installation so what i'll do is that i'll hit after public then i add install then hit enter then that starts the installer of what um edu firm college management system so we hit on what check on requirements and then requirements is okay then we hit on the next button and the next button is okay they'll move to next then the system asks us how do we want to uh, proceed with our installation do we want to set up the env with a text editor or we want to use the wizard to do that so let's use the wizard to do that so wizard here chiri chiri chara chara so it's asking for um app location so app location is going to be um unlimited um edu that is the name of my folder here unlimited edu then we are redirecting it to a public folder then we have a um, public folder slash then um asking the environment whether we are on a local environment development or whatever it is so we're on a local environment and then the app name so the app name is going to be the virus systems i have here and then app debug we are going to set it to false so anytime there's an error message we don't want to have so many informations on the screen which might get somebody scared so we set it to false so when there's a problem if there's no display then we as developers can go to the back end or the env file and turn on debug to know exactly where the error is coming from so then we hit setup next then setup here we are supposed to select our sql connection so we are selecting what my sql and then um our host is what this and then our database name is what edu unlimited so i have what unlimited um dot edu and then what is the username the username is avanash and password is loaded automatically so we hit on our setup next and then that takes us to what the next setup and then it's asking us to set what our email so we said okay mail settings and then um mail settings is okay everything chiri chiri chara chara then we start with our installation process so we give you some few seconds to start with our installation process so debugging the app debug field must be true or false yeah so we picked false that is it so we did that right didn't we okay so let's start it all over again so chiri chiri chara chara so unlimited um edu public folder so which we have here so next um we have our database which is some um, edu unlimited and then avanash then we hit on next again and then um any other files no we have here no 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 then we hit on install wow we are getting an error okay let's leave it as true for now to see maybe later on we can go and change it so that um we don't have any problems with our system yes so we move to next debug um we have edu and then we have um, our database name here here really is that what this system is trying to do all right it's still giving us the same problem so let's start the installation all over again and then we we'll use a text editor format to edit it to see so we hit on next then check bam permissions environment everything is okay so let's use some classical text editor 
and then we can edit our dot env file so here we have um our details set all right so um it's still picking the previous details so let's save this and then um we save and then install and start with our installation so save and start with installation let's see chiri chiri chara chara so let's give you some few minutes whilst it is installing our edu firm yes so you can see you can see it's installing all right so our installation is done and then all tables are migrated into our database and everything looks nice chiri chiri chara chara so we hit on click here to exit and then that is going to redirect us to our dashboard where we are logged in to our edu firm is that okay so if it happens that um you are not logged in then what you have to do is that you have to use the default logins that comes with what edu firm which is um super admin at edu and then the password is admin then you log into the system and you are done setting up edu firm but after setting up we have um create a year and active so we we'll go to academics we we'll come to year and months we we'll come to year then the academic year is the year 2020 so we have 2020 as the academic year then we click on create and that is going to create what our academic year our academic year is created and then we click here to activate what our academic year so when we click on activate then our academic year is activated and it's ready to go so now when we go back to dashboard we don't have any other error message asking us to create what a year and active so we are done setting up what edu unlimited firm school management system version 2 and this is the whole application we have here chiri chiri chara chara chiri chiri chara chara we have students and then we are good to go we can have student registration and then you have a nice student form where you can fill what the student details in it and then enter parents and everything of the student so you are done setting up what unlimited edu firm college management system so chiri chiri chara chara stay with the virus system on this blog and please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for more notification coming from me and then anytime i release a video you get it but please if i don't tell you this you even have to appreciate it by just hitting on the like button and leaving a comment so do that for me and do visit my blog the virus system.com for free 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 scripts which are available all over the internet and you can find some on my blog to test them at your fingertips before you head to code can you to buy them stay tuned with the virus system